Hello, Konnichiwa. Hey, today is a special day for those who are watching us uh, from off the shore of Singapore. Today, ah, today is five twelve. Ah, is Singapore's fifth day. So, now, welcome everyone. Ah, one minute to our Ask Yue. Now, you guys are watching. I think, ah, fifth day. 不是日本人，大家交流一些关于日本的文化啦，哦，还有一些会议 ，OK。So anyway, ah,、uh, let's wish Singapore a happy birthday, happy birthday Singapore. And in Japanese, the way we say it is, お誕生日おめでとうございます。お誕生日おめでとうございます。Singapore, eh, to ne. 然后日本也是有它的 national day 的，啊，这是题外话 ，OK。日本的。National Day， 他们是叫做 Genkoku Inendi， Genkoku Inendi， 哦 ，Genkoku in if we write in Chinese， it will be 建国 ，Inendi 是纪念日，建国纪念日。Hello， Eric 大哥。然后呃，日本的建国纪念日是在二月十一号 ，February the eleventh。嗯，我新加坡是八月九号。OK。So again, for all those、uh, who is viewing this Aspire channel on、uh, this Japanese lesson,、uh, today is a very special day. Is our Singapore 55th birthday. Omedeto gozaimasu. How? Hello, everybody. Yeah, welcome. So, eh, today, eh, 上个星期我们是在讲拉面嘛，对不对？然后都讲的很兴奋，很快乐。Everybody has learned something about the ramen culture. At the same time, so today I was thinking because、uh, it's a time for celebration, and then、uh, probably it's also good to look at etiquette. Because and whenever we go to Japan, we all know that Japan is a very neat and tidy country. Everything has rules. Sometimes it it may get a little bit chaotic, right? It's just a bit of a pressure. It's like if you have Japanese friends, you go to eat, 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 you go to eat. So today I will just want to、uh, take from my last week. We talked about ramen, ma. Now ramen, we we saw a few about do's and the don'ts, right? But now I go into the general of dining etiquette in Japan. Shall we? Okay. Now, now we start. Ah, ha. Let me put on my presentation. If you can see this, I hope you can see this. Yeah. We are talking about etiquette. Now, there are many etiquettes of Japan. Let me get myself ready, also, ah,、uh, in the sense that I also want to see myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good. All right. So, ah,、uh, many of you know when we go into a, a dining situation in Japan, Japanese always love to show gratitude for the food and to the host. Ah.、Uh, 然后他们通常都会讲一句话，就好像法法国人会讲 “bon appetit” 哈，然后新加坡就是“驾”，对不对？然后在日本他们就是说什么呢 ？“itadakimas”，“itadakimas” 哈。In English, roughly translate as "I humbly receive this meal," just to give thanks, yeah, to the food and also to the chef that is pre preparing for the food. So. Uh, it's also part of the uh, Shin, uh, Shin, Shintoism, ah,、uh, Japan Buddhism. They are they are very grateful for all the things around them that is given to them. So they show gratitude, and that is the meaning of itadakimas. I humbly receive this meal. They give thanks. Ah, now, 通常他们都会双手合起来 Like right now, I put my chopsticks here too. I say itadakimas. But otherwise, you can also just do like this. He say itadakimas, so I humbly receive this meal and give thanks to the chef and to the ingredients or the preparation and the vegetables and whatever, yeah, all the animals that is going to be your meal. How about? And then another thing, I mean,、uh, another thing that Japanese are very particular is they are you always pick up the rice bowl or soup bowl and eat from it while holding it. I mean for. 我们亚洲人，呃，尤其是东南亚哈、哦，甚至呃韩国啦 ，Korea， you know， 呃 ，it's quite familiar. But anyway, we just go through. There are some similarities, then there are some that is probably unique to Japan. But overall, it's quite similar. We pick up the rice bowl or soup bowl and eat from it while holding it. Yeah. 
。然后这个东西就是 the next one, the don'ts, do and don'ts. Yeah, when we are having a meal in Japan with a Japanese friend or, or in a restaurant, don't just eat food directly. Move it to your own dish first. 所以这个东西，我觉得我们呃。Other than Japanese, probably a lot of the other Asian culture may may overlook, oh, 没有很重视，哦，因为如果说有很多小菜来的时候，我们都会这样子就 ，you know, take the piece of food, whatever the 小菜 is there, and we start to eat it, yeah, 就这样子直接夹，直接吃，哦，可是，在日本的文化当中呢，他们是拿了之后 ，they will pick up. From let's say a main dish here, and then you have a side dish. You pick up and then you put into your plate. So that's why, 当我们去吃日本餐的时候，通常都会有很多很多的 small plates, okay? And the plates are meant for us to pick up the food and put on the plate. Yeah, this is one of the things that the Japanese are quite particular, quite particular. Ah. And then this is also something that uh, probably Singaporeans are at fault here or not, uh, or we we commit this almost every single day. There is, 我们去吃饭的时候有很多小菜，我们拿了之后，我们就直接放在我们的饭上面就一起吃。Okay, to the Japanese, this is actually pretty rude and is uh is just unsightly. So there again explains why there are so many dish or rather plate. Actually, there's always one plate for you to put your whatever side dish that you pick up, your meat lah, your vegetable you put on the on the on the plate itself. 然后呢，你再夹起来吃，而且通常都不是我们我们华人呐哈，华人喜欢就是哦有肉好像叉烧就放在那个饭上面，然后就直接叉叉烧这顿饭就一起吃嘛，对不对？ But for them, they eat each dish on its own. It, they do not so called uh, 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 mix it together. Ah, this for them, is a little bit of an insult. Actually, always go back to the insult, the the rudeness or the courtesy of uh, uh, etiquette of dining in Japan. Okay? okay, and then this is something that is rather on the opposite. Yeah. For noodles like soba and ramen, we can we you can't eat them suddenly. Did you remember last week? I said it's okay to slurp. Why? Because when we slurp our soba and our ramen, it shows that we actually enjoy the taste of the ramen. Okay, especially the Japanese believe that the ramen soup, uh, is the key of the whole ramen. Now. When we eat it, we slurp it. Actually, the aroma goes through the nose. We can even appreciate the noodle, the ramen, much better. And it's really okay to slurp. If I have to repeat my little story again, I once brought my boss. Uh, is a Belgian guy, ah, huh, to Japan, and then of course we we eat ramen, and everybody was slurping. He can't stand it. He find it's just so. Uh, Unsatisfying, so rude that he just walk out of the ramen store. Okay, but anyway, regardless, this slurping is considered a taboo in most culture, but in Japan, is okay, 是可以的啊，尽尽量把那个声音弄得越大越好也没有关系啊，因为大家都是觉得说啊，这碗面真的是太好吃了，所以我们就有那个 slurping sound. Okay, 好。Next one 就是你看，我们我讲了一段时一段时间嘛，哈。So 刚刚开始吃的时候 ，we give thanks， 我们就说 itadakimas。吃完的时候，它也是有一句，哈，通呃日本人都会讲的 ，is in that custom。它就是 goji so sama deshita。啊 ，for those who have been following my Japanese class， it's time to also remember your hiragana。啊，所以我有放 hiragana， 还有我们的 romanji， 你就跟着讲。果汁说什么的是的，果汁说什么的是的，好，就是说 ，with is a fine meal， OK， I enjoy the meal， 哈、啊，然后如果说吃不完的话，没有关系，哈、啊，你也可以把你的筷子放下来。Usually when we put our chopsticks down， we do it vert， 呃、uh, ，horizontally， never vertically。We put our chopsticks down， and then we are full， 
All right, we can say kochizu sama deshita or because there are still some food left, you say oishikata desu. Oishi, jizama haotsu. So oishikata desu, just so fei, it's a past tense of oishi, just haotsu la. Oh, this is oishikata desu, just hen haotsu, xie xie ni. Ah, 类似这样子的感啊的意思。哦，呃 ，but then again, uh, uh, the simple rule is whatever that is given to you, finish it. 哦，把它吃完，然后我们就讲国际说三万的是它吃不完的时候，把筷子 lay horizontally 哦，横放，然后我们就说，美味しかったです，美味しかったです，也可以，好不好 ？All right. So as you can see, I have been bringing up the chopsticks, and I have a lot of few other supporting cards with me. If I can show you guys later. Ohashi chopsticks. So the chopstick culture again, uh, if we always have to bring it back to is a is a unique Asian culture because you know we Chinese have have chopsticks also. Ah, Korea, Hong Kong, also have their chopsticks. Ah, then we in South Asia, ah, Singapore, ah, Korean, ah, Malaysia, ah, ah, India, ah, Thailand, we have we have the chopsticks habit. But anyway. Let's go through the etiquette of uh, the store or the rules behind the ohashi chopsticks, and I'm referring to the Japanese culture. But you can see there's many similarities, 很多相似的地方，哈。But anyway, it's a it's a it's a recap, yeah. So that we know, uh, we go into Japan, we we use a lot of chopsticks, so we need to know the rules, the do and don'ts behind the chopsticks also. How about how? Okay. Yeah. See, you are correct. It's not unique to Japan. It's an Asian culture. So actually, I'm very happy that uh, we Asians know how to use chopstick. But then again, uh, probably we we know what chopstick is all about. But I do not think a lot of us know how to hold a chopstick or pick up food correctly. Ah, because use chopstick, use chopstick, it also has a correct etiquette. I have a last slide to show you guys. Uh, if you know who you are, that you're holding the chopstick the wrong way because I see people hold chopstick this way. Or now you ask me to do it the wrong way, I can't do it. Okay, because I have I I I I actually you know do it the correct way. Uh, the reason is because okay, this is a short story because when I was in secondary school, I was eating in Tanjung Baga, all right, and I always have my uh, breakfast eating bihun, so. Somehow that particular day, that particular morning, there is a amo, who is amo 就是老外了哈。那老外就是坐在我旁边，然后他就看我在吃米粉，哦，呃，那我吃米粉的时候，我那时候拿的筷子的那个姿势是不对的。Okay, I I can't remember how I do it, but it was it was never like this. And then that gentleman with a amo 啊，就是 foreigner， 就是 Caucasian， right， 就是红毛人哈。就是外国人，他看到的时候，他很不舒服，他反而来跟我说 ，Why do how come you cannot use your chopsticks properly? I was actually that time I was fifteen. I am a little bit shocked. 我有点惊讶，一个老外来跟我说，哎 ，you're holding your chopsticks wrongly. So I felt so embarrassed that I actually, uh, kind of tell myself, okay, I have, I am continuing to come to this place to eat my. Uh, bihun, but I want to make sure I know how to hold the chopsticks correctly. And then uh, to continue on this little short story, I have been working in a lot of MNC with all the armors. And one of the things that I share with my you know good armor boss is how to use chopsticks when they're in Asia because we travel to Thailand, uh, Indonesia, all these places. So my current boss is a good boss of mine, and the first thing I teach him is not about my telecom professional. Uh, but I teach him how to use chopsticks, and then uh, of course he is the pride when uh, we go out on meetings with all the Asian uh, Asian counterparts, and they were surprised that my boss, who is an Italian, can hold the chopsticks very well, and of course he always give the credit back to me lah. That I'm holding, help teaching him how to hold the chopsticks correctly. How about? Uh, any difference between Chinese and Japanese chopsticks? Yes, uh, there is. Uh, I would like to probably in a later show uh, do a small segment on that because uh, whole chopsticks culture in Japan itself has been many many years. Actually, it started somewhere in the Nara period. 
Nana period 就是 from the year 710 to the year 794. So it's in the 8th century. And now we are in the 21st century. All right. So uh, when you go to Japan, one, I, I strongly encourage you guys to go to some of these uh, chopsticks place where you can see that they have a good variety of chopsticks. How about? All right. So uh, rules behind the chopsticks. Uh, a lot of Ammo do this, right? Because we Asian usually don't do this, but a lot of Ammo do this is Tatebashi. <coughs> Okay, remember when we hold when we call chopsticks, it's called hashi. But everything else that I'm gonna share with you, okay, that is the do and don't of the, the position of the chopsticks is not pronounced as hashi anymore. It's pronounced as bashi. Alright, so tate bashi is a big no-no. Why? Because again, with uh, Buddhism uh, influence, okay, to our ancestor that is uh, on the other side of the, the atmosphere. <laughs> so Tate Bashi is, is a big no-no. All the Japanese will look at you like, hey, or even they get angry, they get offended. Huh? So never do rest your chopstick in the bowl of rice, Tate Bashi. Okay, actually, it means death. For us, Asian, Chinese, is like the jaw stick, right? And then you just put, like, to our ancestor praying. So, Japanese, the same thing. Tatebashi, big no-no. Big no-no. Okay, so do not stick your chopstick into food, especially into your bowl of rice. Remember, rule number one. Tatebashi, dame des, dame. Okay, hiroi bashi, hiroi bashi. Uh, in the Chinese character, it's like picking up something, right? Look at si, huh? Hiroi bashi. This is even also a big no, no. Never do that. We Singaporean again. I say myself as Singaporean. We kind of uh, commit this uh, so-called big no, no, where we are having food among ourselves right friends sometimes we share and then we just pass using chopstick the reason why hiroi bashi is a big no-no in japanese culture is okay after cremation <clears throat> they will pick up the bones with chopsticks and then they pass it to the urn right so to pass food from one chopstick to another is the significance of death picking up the bone that has been burned, the leftover of your ancestor. So never do this. Let's say you are in Japan and you find that this is uh, a very nice piece of sashimi and then you want to share with your partner and then you find it's a Japanese friend and then you want to pass it to your partner, your partner use a chopstick to pick it up from you. Tana, kenshi, dame, big no-no, okay? Never, never do that. Never, never do that. It's the significance of death. Yeah, it's after, after that huh? Oh, pick up bones. That's how the Japanese does it. We Chinese also do it too. But you know, uh, I don't think we are so particular when we pass food from one chopstick to the other. But for the Japanese, is again I mentioned big no no. Huh? How about how? So do not pass food to another person's chopsticks with your own. Okay, huh? Okay, sashi bashi, sashi bashi. So this picture shows very well, it's like spear. So, okay, chopsticks is meant to pinch or pick up food. It's not meant to spear our food, it's very rude. Because if it's meant to spear our food, there's, you don't need to learn the correct way of holding chopsticks already. You can just use one and just chop, 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 chop. Do that. Now, we have a lot of chopsticks, so we have a lot of chopsticks. We use it to pick up food and never use to cha 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 cha. Ah, cha, okay? So, sashi bashi no dame des, pupu, dame. Do not spill your food, okay? Do not spill your food. And then this one, of course, now with COVID virus, uh, need no extra explanation, okay? But before COVID virus came, 
uh, actually it's, it's a hygiene thing lah, huh? okay so there is a, a a saying for this also it's called neburi bashi that means you put your chopstick and you lick it and you you know play with the food in your mouth with the chopstick inside so neburi bashi this action is also ba -ba, boop, boop, dame, dame, okay so do not lick or chew on your chopsticks do not lick or chew on your chopsticks and then the next one is do not use your chopsticks to pick up food from a communal plate all right so this is what we have in then always we pick up the food all right and then we put it on the dish or the plate extra plate that you have uh, now uh, or something that we have to remember is if there is again again is it's not rare for Asians again um, I'm saying this many many times because I believe my our this Artsphere channel probably can be watched by foreigners who are not Asian uh, so another way to deal with it when we have no communal chopsticks yeah we the Japanese or other Asian but now because I'm talking about Japanese the Japanese does it the other way that means you used to pick up food to your own mouth on the tip but the head of the chopsticks you can actually use it to pick up food and then of course when you go and pick up food from that so-called general food serving for everybody be decisive be decisive even when you go in like that with the right posture and then you were just trying to figure out what is what to pick that is also okay huh so be decisive actually uh the one simple rule to always remember is pick the food that is closer to you I mean, it's a little bit difficult like, if your friends put the best food in front of them and then you don't have what you want in front of you, then you want to go across. Uh, it's a little bit difficult, okay? But uh, that is one rule of thumb. Just pick the food in front of you. How about? Huh? Huh. Okay. Avoid crossing your chopsticks. Same thing has to do with death. Uh, it's very rude. Huh? So uh, when we put our chopsticks again, Japanese style, yeah. whenever we finish or we stop and then we want to talk to our friends or we want to take a sip of your ocha, always put it horizontally, never vertical because this, this even though you're not doing the tattoo tatsui, it also seems like jaw stick, right? Again, prayers. And also never do the cross. It's very rude. It's considered, you know, uh, you know, with the death uh meaning huh then this is this is common uh, i guess uh don't point your chop, chopsticks and then you know, when you i mean right now okay so please pardon me yeah since i have been pointing so i've been pointing but of course when i'm at the dining table i don't you know use a chopstick to point and stuff like that it's very rude okay so basically it's basic man i think it happens uh it is a uh, acceptable basic manners in asian culture where we have the chopstick culture we don't point with our chopsticks okay next is lifting the plates and bowls yeah so uh, we do know japanese uh, are very particular about their plates and bowls and like i mentioned if you do go to a typical japanese dining especially this uh kaiseki in chinese is huan huai shi liao li there will be a lot of plates small one big one long one so you, you need to figure out okay what you can do with it huh so hey, lifting plates and bowls there is also uh uh some pointers huh, huh that i like to share with you okay okay to lift rice bowl so actually what do you think is this a rice bowl it's not a rice bowl. The bowl that I have right now, this is a soup bowl. Okay? So you see, they even have specific bowls for different uh, parts of the meal. Right? Oh, this is okay. 
okay, soup bowl. This one is a tonburi, it's a rice bowl. Huh? Now, of course, this is a typical Japanese rice bowl. Small, hunting chow, okay, typical rice bowl. All this, you need to always hold up, depending on whether you're left-handed or right-handed, but with a chopstick and a bowl and then eat, on, eat from it. And then remember, uh, I also always make this mistake because I am typically a Chinese man, so I pick up food and I put on top of my rice and I eat together my char siu, my chicken, but never do that. You always put it on the plate, okay? Some kind of a plate, and then I pick it up from the plate. I eat the chicken or whatever fish, then I eat the rice. So they are very neat if I have to put it in the general term. Okay, so okay to leave are the rice bowls, the soup bowl, uh, small plate of soy sauce, donburi bowl, okay? Donburi is our chicken dong, meat dong, curry dong, some dong, donburi can leave the, okay? Or the lacquer rice box that you can always see uh, when you put unagi, yeah, you can see it's uh, black color with the red trimmings. Those are uh, typical Ojabako. Okay? These are all can lift. Okay? Now, do not lift the other ones. Ah, sashimi plates, tempura plates. Okay? Plates and bowl that are bigger than your palm. Like this one, let's say it's being served with all the meatballs and you know, all the sashimi, whatever. Okay? It's right in the middle, and then you feel like you want to take because it's a big party of 10 people, maybe. So you want to take it and then you want to pick it up, right? And then put on your, your particular bowl. Never do that. That is again big no no. Okay, I have to make the sound again. Dame, pipi, dame. Okay, okay. Okay, so simple. Those big plates, stuff like that, big no no, cannot leave. Tempura plates, sashimi plates, do not leave. You just pick it up. Okay, and then another thing that's ethical that uh, I myself am also guilty. Uh,我几乎是有这个坏习惯啦,因为我有点懒惰啦,所以从小吃东西,在Hawker you piss people off, or rather you piss the Japanese off. Elbows off the table. Therefore, always eat it, one hand rice bowl, one hand chopstick, off the table. Okay, I have the habit of doing this, I admit. How about how? Huh? So elbows off the table, please, when you're in Japan, having a meal, especially with your Japanese friends. All right, so, this is a Japanese class, right? And then we have to learn some conversation and then uh, let's recap. We cannot always just talk about culture and then forget our basic Japanese conversation. Uh, so let's recap it together. When you go to a restaurant, I mean, we are Singaporean, we speak English, we can say, oh, do you have an English menu? Ego no menu wa arimasu ka? Ego no menu wa arimasu ka? So, as you can see here, there is a kanji and then there is a katakana and hiragana. So, remember, katakana are uh, 借用语. So, foreign words that is being used into a Japanese language. So, that's why English menu is ego no menu. Ego no menu wa arimasu ka? What should we have for dinner? Bangohan wa? Nani o tabemasu ka? Ban gohan wa nani o tabemasu ka? Okay. Nani o tabemasu ka? What we have for? What do you want to eat? Something like that, yeah? What do you want to eat? Ban gohan is dinner. Ban gohan is dinner. So when you're undecided, you go to a restaurant, you ask for recommendation, okay? This is something you can always use, okay? Uh, we should ask for recommendation is Osusume wo kite mimashou. Osusume wo kite mimashou. Osusume is recommendation. 
So even if you go to a Japanese restaurant and then you cannot remember the sentence, you can just ask, Osusume wa nan desu ka? Osusume, osusume recommendation. Then they will recommend uh, the, the top five seller in the top five food in that particular restaurant. Huh? The keyword to remember here is Osusume, Osusume. So if you hear this from the waiter or waitress, may I take your order is Okimari ok desu ka? Okimari desu ka? When you hear them coming to you and say Okimari desu ka means are you ready? May I take your order? So we can give them the order that you want. Yeah? Then of course you say Osusume wa nan desu ka? Osusume wa nan desu ka? Huh? What would you recommend? Then the top uh, so-called top seller, best seller in the restaurant, uh, there's a word for it, a noun for it, which is Kanban menu. Kanban menu is their favorite food. So how about trying our special menu? Kanban menu wa ikata desu ka? Kanban menu wa ikata desu ka? So if you and your partner, just the two of you go, so you say, we'd like to have two of that, please, because I can kind of the top menu. So you should oh, okay. And so, sore wa futatsu o onegai shimasu. Sore wa futatsu o onegai shimasu. So we would like to have two of that, please. Okay? Futatsu, two. Onegai shimasu, please. Sore wa futatsu o so when they come with food, the waiter and waitress come to food with food, you always hear this uh, when they say, when they place the food in front of you. Omatase itashimashita. Omatase itashimashita. So when you hear omatase itashimashita, it means here is your food. Thank you for waiting. Omatase itashimashita. Here is your food. Thank you for waiting. Ah, so we remember all the etiquette, okay, which is again not very uh, different from our Asian etiquette of holding chopsticks and stuff like that. So wow, looks delicious. Let's eat. Okay, wow, oishi, oishi so, oishi so, itadakimasu. Remember, when we eat, we give thanks to the food and the chef, we say itadakimasu. Yeah? Wow, oishi so, itadakimasu. Let's eat. So, so one as well, have to ask for the deal, lah, huh? So, okage o onegai shimasu. Okage o onegai shimasu. Kaike is bill, please. Onegai shimasu is always please, lah, in a very polite way. Okage o onegai shimasu. So, the total bill is 9,000 yen. Remember your Japanese number, yeah? I mean, every now and then we have conversation. I'll try to go through again with you so that you can get it into your head and you can remember. The total bill is 9,000 yen. Koke de kyusen desu. Koke de kyusen desu. So, remember, it has been a good meal. You give thanks to the meal that you have. Is goji so sama deshita. Goji so sama deshita. Thank you for the meal. It has been a good meal. Tsupu uh, wa suho. Also can say goji sama deshita, but it's always good to finish what you have on your bowl. All right? And then if you cannot finish it, again, remember to place a chopstick, not vertically, not cross, but you put it horizontally on the table. And you say, Oishikata desu. Oishikata desu. It has been a delicious meal, but you cannot finish it. Huh? Then always end it with Kojiso sama deshita when you finish your meal. How about? OK, so I mean, this is the last slide, yeah? Uh, I mean, you can always get this from the internet, it's all over the place, but basically, you know, uh, we, we, we place one of the chopsticks in between the thumb, okay, and here, and this one, this, this particular one that is nearest to the thumb will be your fulcrum, it will never move, right, the one that moves is the one that is away from the thumb, they, that you are being, you're holding this this way. Okay, with the nail of the thumb holding the other other chopsticks. And then this is the one that is moving. All right, so there's one fulcrum and this is the one that is moving. 
and then you pick up your food. All right. I mean, you can get it from the internet everywhere. I just put one here, just that you guys know. So, like I say, I have this little story. Uh, Amo guy actually tell me I am not holding chopsticks correctly, and I am a Chinese. I'm Asian. And that particular moment, I was so shameful, and I went back and I find out how to hold chopsticks. And ever since I am holding chopsticks correctly, I know what to do with my chopsticks, and I'm very grateful for that. And then, believe it or not, 现在我看到亚洲人不会拿筷子的时候 ，I get a little bit gunjung. I don't want to say peace. Yeah. I get a bit gunshot. I I just find that it's it's not right, yeah. Especially when、uh, this chopstick culture is so deep rooted in our Asian culture, right? Again, it spreads yeah to Korea, to Japan, to Thailand, and then here in Singapore, and then our neighbors, right? The Indonesians, the Malaysians, yeah. So we should be grateful. We say itadaki mas, right? So the chopstick culture. Is what I have shared with you guys today. I hope you guys uh, enjoy. Uh, probably is uh, uh, recollect, refamiliarize yourself again with our chopstick culture and also how、uh, some of the things are unique to the Japanese in terms of the chopsticks usage. You know, never even when we are not eating, we place it horizontally and not not vertically. How about how? So. I hope you enjoy. I enjoy it myself very much, and of course, we have many more programs today. A special day for Singapore, National Day, fifty-five years old. The Singapore, yeah, and then we have uh, um, two more programs today, and then、uh, it's popcorn. Everybody love popcorn, right? We can go to the cinema. I mean, this is a must-have when we go to the cinema. So there is a little bit of a colorful popcorn, okay. Uh, to be shared by our Stephanie 老师 and then 三点钟的时候 uh, we also have something that uh, the girls love, the women's love. It's not the dog, it's not your boyfriend, it's not a husband, but it's diamond, right? So the girls, you must know your diamond. I think the guys should know too, so that you can pick the best diamond for for your loved ones, right? So we have more programs again. Two o'clock, three o'clock. Come back to Facebook Live. And then,、uh, may I wish everybody a happy day and also a happy National Day for Singapore. Thank you so much. Arigatou gozaimasu. Omete to gozaimasu. Otanjubi. Bye bye.